Hey guys, we're going to be going over something called methane chlorination today. This is actually a mechanism that is very important in your knowledge of OCHEM 1. So let's get started. First of all, oh gosh, ah, this is in your free radical section um, and you're going to see why in a little bit. First of all, what is a free radical? A free radical is an atom or a compound with an uneven amount, sorry, I, I got a wedgie, an uneven number of valence electrons. Um, we like even numbers because they're more stable and they can pair up with each other, so. Anyway, methane chlorination, let's see, let's like break this down. What's methane? The compound for methane is CH4. What's chlorine? We're adding chlorine. Usually, it's one of those, um, we're basically going to be a gas, and they're usually always like diatomic. I think that's the word for it. Sorry, guys. I don't know. But you guys know. Um, Hofbrinkel, H, you always have it. Usually it's two H's. O, you have two O's. F, it's two F's. It's not ever really alone. Um, alone. So, because this is a very stable compound together. Um, okay, anyway. So, chlorination. This follows this whenever we have an alkane plus a halogen. It's always going to make an al alkyl halide, which is going to be CH3Cl, and a nice little acid. Okay, so that's like the general formula. So let's get into this. Let's get into this mechanism. So the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to have um, our initiation step, and that's when we have chlorine. This guy. Make sure y'all draw your uh, electrons or your lone pairs, and. It's going to disassociate. Remember, single-headed arrows. This is important only for free radicals, only for this mechanism for simplicity purposes. Okay? And we're going to end up getting two free radicals. Four free radicals. So our second step, propagation. What does it mean to propagate something? It means to basically Continue, 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 right? All right, so now we have this chlorine, but we need to uh, do something to our, sorry, our methane. So we're gonna write like this, because what's gonna happen is these guys. One electron is gonna go to each. And it's actually gonna join with the free radical that we made up here. It's all kind of like a puzzle. So now what do we have? We have a free radical methyl or methane and then we have our nice little acid. Cool, it's all happy now. But there are actually two steps to propagation. Now we have this free radical. This needs to join with something. So we're going, oh sorry. We have our chlorine. It's a different molecule this time. It's gonna join with this guy. This guy's gonna go over here. We're gonna have CH3, Cl. Yes, my connectivity is not very good <laughs> on this one. And then we're gonna have our next little radical again. Look, now we've already made these products. We have CH3. Uh, three CL, um, and then we have our HCl. Perfect. So we just have one more step left, and it's termination. Now there are three possible ways you can terminate this methane chlorination, and when you do that, first one, my favorite one is I just take whatever my halogen is. I take the two. You know, I'll do it like this. I take the two radicals and I join them together. This gives me a product that we initially started out with, okay? Or, or, we have another two that we can do. We can take the methyl radical, or methane radical, and we can join that, again, a one-headed arrow, with our other radical of methane. This will give us CH3, CH3, okay? And lastly, we can do CH3 joined with my 
L. Oops, sorry. Oh, this guy. Giving us CH3, CL. So those are the possibilities. That is your chlorination, methane chlorination mechanism. All right. Bye, guys, and good luck on the final one.